Hey, Josh. How's it going? Good, good. I like the name, Dread Central. Thank you. So <laughs> I'm a big horror fan. And as a horror fan, I find the scares in this series to be really effective. Why do you think it's so scary? Um, you know, I, I think it's, I personally think it, it, because I'm not necessarily a horror fan, but I think that this show winds up being so scary because uh, I think we connect to the human beings yeah. and we really connect to the circumstance, the circumstance of like, where you don't know what's happening. And I think once you connect, you kind of like are walking in somebody else's shoes it suddenly becomes really viscerally scary for you because you're like, yeah, I don't, I don't even know what I would do right now. Like I, 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 I you know, like you actually can feel yeah. scared in the moment as, as you're trying to like suss through all the information about what, what the possibilities are for any of the characters to do while you're actually still watching it. And so I think that's what makes it really, really scary. I think the human connection to it, um, that, that like you believe these people, that's what makes it super scary. What drives Boyd into the leadership role? And is this something that you relate to? Um, so I think, you know, I, again, Boyd is a, a, a former military man. And when I think of military people, uh, uh, I, I think of them in the highest ideal of, uh, 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 the highest ideals of this idea that what they want to do is protect and serve. They really do want to serve and they want to be helpful and protecting and do and throw their actual body on the line of fire in order to protect other people. When I think of military people in that sense, I think of Boyd like that. And so um, um, how do I relate to it? I don't maybe relate to that normally, um, but as, as a father and a husband, and that that it gives me all those same things too. Like I wasn't in the military, but mm -hmm. my family, yeah, I'm gonna be on the front line doing everything I can and all my power with my mind, my body, with everything. I'm going to try to figure out how to get them out of harm's way. And so for me, that's what I use to relate for for boy. Like yeah. I, I use that same kind of fierce protection instinct to to because I think that that's what Boyd has naturally and, 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 and keeps proving it throughout his life in the military, having a family, all mm -hmm. that. And so it makes sense to me like that. I'm a big Stephen King fan and I personally see so much of his work sort of in the context here. Were you ever right. presented with any Stephen King as a reference for this show? Oh, we, we weren't presented with, uh, I wasn't pre presented with any of it directly, but I do, you know, I've, I'm a big Stephen King fan as well. And so once we were up in Halifax and there were people who were like, oh, yeah, we shoot a lot of the Stephen King movies up here. I felt like, yeah. makes sense. Like <laughs> these like little towns that seem really idyllic, but you know that they're really tricky. I think all of that stuff makes sense. And I know that Jack Bender and Stephen King know each other well. So I recognize, you know, the, uh, you know, artists, artists share, you know, their visions uh, sometimes. And so then we probably, you know, definitely have some Stephen King-esque things that are just built in because of, you know, Jack Bender's relationship with Stephen King and stuff like that. And then once I saw that, you know, he was uh, following the show on, on, on Twitter, I was like, yes, even <laughs> Stephen King likes us. Yes. <laughs> um, my last question for you today, it, it feels like such a tight ensemble. Um, does it ever feel like more of a theater piece when you're working with such sort of couple locations and a tight ensemble? Yeah, quite often it really, really does. We've even asked, had people from the crew come up and say like, oh, do you guys do a lot of theater? Because they really, are, some of the connections are really just small moments, you know, with like two people or three people, something that you would, and they feel really intimate and something that you would get in the theater. And so because of that, I think, I think it does feel like that. And I think, you know, in, in the theater, because you're seeing live people, you know, your, your suspension of disbelief becomes really, really real because you feel the energy. And I think that we find a way to do that with our show. I think one of our strengths is that we have a small, tight uh, mm. ensemble. And I think that that's one of our big strengths. Wonderful. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. And congrats Thanks. on the series, second season. Thanks, Josh. I appreciate it. Bye for now.